Guys, we are back with another this week in Destiny Breakdown. We have a lot of stuff to get into today, like some upcoming Crucible changes, the Witherhorde ornament winner, and our first look at Solstice for this year. But before we get into all that, if you're going to enjoy the video, remember to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, as I saw a lot of you guys who watch my content that aren't actually subscribed. Subscribing is free to do, and it really helps me out here a lot. Also, if you'd like to help me create more content in the future, consider becoming a channel member. You can get exclusive badges as well as some emotes, which should be on the way shortly. So if you'd like to help me out there, you can. But now let's just jump into today's video. So Bungie Day celebration stuff is still going on for another week here. You can earn some cool stuff through that. Mid-season crucible update, fixed out of bounds spot in various maps, and whisper of chains, reduced damage reduction in PvP from 15 to 5%. We also go over some respawn changes that have happened as well as some crucible division matchmaking changes that have also happened as well skill range dynamic stuff with a horde ornament this is the one that we are going to be getting in game looks really really cool so if you vote for that congratulations on getting this ornament voted for to be the winner the new exotic scout rifle wicked implement has its new exotic callus available to be obtained in game currently most people's reaction to it is that it's pretty underwhelming uh, but they have said that they are now going to be looking into a few buffs for this weapon due to community feedback. Solstice starts next week and there are a few changes here. There's two new buffs that can be accessed via the Bonfire Bash game mode as well as through Vanguard Ops playlist. So we have a new buff called Firebound. This is only available in Bonfire Bash. When close to a fire team member, gain increased recovery and super regeneration. Then we have Flare. Buff is available in Bonfire Bash and the Vanguard Ops playlist. Rapidly defeating combatants to unleash a wave of paracles of fire around you, dealing damage to nearby combatants. They also say that Solstice will be a bit more difficult this time around. They have increased enemy density and made some changes to the overall difficulty of the event, which is good to see. How the event works is that you're going to be needing to collect three different materials, those being silver leaves, silver ash, and kindling. To earn silver leaves, you do that by completing activities throughout the game. You then take your silver leaves into the bonfire bash activity and they will be converted into silver ash upon completion of the activity itself and then kindling is earned by completing solstice event challenges and is spent to upgrade your armor stat roll potentials each armor piece can be upgraded three times now we're moving on to the first look at the armor sets for each class here we have the warlock armor set which looks incredible just from the images here they all look great Hunter up next, very clean. And then finally, we have the Titan set here. As you can see, they do have subtle little glow effects here. The elemental glows, so this solar glow here, the strand glow on the Hunter, and the void glow on the Warlock, as well as the arc and stasis glow, will be available from the Eververse store. But I believe that you can still earn your white glow from just completing all of the challenges within the event, which is still a really good way to earn some easy drip there. Also get our first look at the brand new Strand rocket launcher from the event. Very clean looking rocket there. Seems to be a hack A frame so it will come with auto tracking enabled on it. It's very cool to see. Fishing tournament results there as well. And that is everything. If you've enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe. There'll be a link in the description if you want to read this for yourself. Last little bit here, reminder that the August 22nd reveal stream starts at 9am PT. And you should follow Bungie's Twitch and YouTube channels. But that is it for this video. So if you've enjoyed, remember to leave a like, subscribe, consider becoming a member, and I'll see you guys in the next one.